Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog and it's such a beautiful day out here in Japan. I want to update you on a few things today like the rice fish ponds. I want to get a few underwater shots with the GoPro today, show you guys how they're all doing and I want to talk a little bit about this. You can see the plants have been doing well. This was planted using the seeds and they've been growing quite well but I'm just not enjoying this at all. It's it, it just seems so boring, you know? Every day I sit here, I edit videos, and I look at this and it's just, it's quite boring just seeing water with some grass. This one right here, this is a terrarium, and I find this a little bit more interesting because I can actually plant stuff, I can take stuff out, I can tweak stuff around, and I'm having more fun with this than this, so I might take this thing down. Right here, this is my Anubius grow out jar. When I first got these, these were tiny and they've grown out so much, so I'm really happy with this. So I'm just leaving this here and every day I spray them down with a little bit of this Dua Wabikusa Mist. It's kind of like a fertilizer as well as prevents bugs from coming in and stuff like that. So it's been really good, really happy with these two, not so much with this. Even though it's been doing well, there hasn't been any plants melting at all. I'm just not having a fun time with that. I hope you guys understand what I mean. So pretty soon I might be taking this thing down, but we can create something new. Maybe do another terrarium because I just find that these stuff are cooler than this because you can't even have fish in this. It's so small. It wouldn't be fair for the fish. So another thing, excuse my messy desk, but right here you can see there's tape and this is where I hope to have a tank coming in pretty big size. I'm gonna have to move this table out of the way and find a spot for it, but I'm really excited about this. Hopefully it can happen soon. I don't want to give too much away about it right now because I still can't confirm everything, but I've been having this thought in my mind for the longest time ever for a couple of months now, maybe like half a year. I'm not sure, but I've been calling this the mini studio and that's because I kind of want it to be that. I kind I want it to be like a mini gallery with some nice aquascapes and just make it like a cozy spot to be in. Maybe have a table here in the middle, Takashi Amano-san style, have a sofa or something. I'm not so sure yet. And we're definitely gonna change these out because they're just worn down. And here is the small aquarium, the 60p, and today's a big day because these pipes are going off and we're changing them with some glass lily pipes that I received from an awesome viewer, Gavin. Thank you so much for this. Really appreciate that. I'm excited to put this on today, but that'll wait. We'll wait for the lights to turn on. I am currently out here at my aunt and uncle's yard. You can see the rice fish right there. Oh, they just went down, that sucks. But we'll be getting some underwater shots of that. The water is super clear, which is amazing. You can see this is a new setup that my aunt did using a styrofoam board. What, what a creative idea. You can see the water is completely green in color, but the fish love that. This here is my aunt and uncle's durian tree. Uh, many people say plant it in the ground, the direct ground, but that's not gonna happen because we have winters out here and the plant will just die. So this is like my uncle's pet. He keeps it in this like a bonsai tree. So this thing can grow massive, but we're not gonna let that happen. We're just keeping it as a bonsai. Over here is the one that I set up a few weeks ago. You can see the plants have been doing well, flowering almost every day. It's amazing. And today I'm gonna be changing the water because it's just a bit too green and I like it to be a little bit more clear. But you can see the other ones are doing just fine as well. Look at that flower, beautiful. So the first thing I want to do is trim off the leaves that are not doing so well, like this yellow one. So I'm just going to cut that off, just like that. And then another one right here you can see is kind of yellowing. So I just like to snip that off. Just like that. Next up, I get so many questions of this. How do you change waters for this? Do you even change water? Yes, I do, and I'll show you that right now. It's really easy. So we basically just leave a bucket of water out here, just let it sit for a day or two, and all the chlorines will evaporate out, and it'll be just perfect for the fish. And I like to grab this little thing and just scoop out some of the old water in here. I can't do it right now because I'm focusing on holding the camera, but you do this without getting any of the fish in. You throw it out, 
fill it back up with some of the clean water. That's basically it. And I'll do this every week or once every two weeks. It doesn't really matter. These, these fish are super strong and they can live through anything. They'll live through the winters here and we can get freezing temperatures. Sometimes the water surface will even freeze up. It actually happened this year and the fish will just be swimming at the bottom. It's kind of cool, but yeah, these fish are super strong. Really good fish. Before I put the lily pipes on in the mini studio, I want to do a quick update on the garage fish room. You can see here the tanks are looking really nice. Honey gouramis are looking fire. Look how bright they are. And the Savoir resplendent starting to show some color. You can see the red faces, blue body starting to come out. Really happy with how they're doing. Look at that, beautiful. So yeah, I just feed them these two foods right now. I want to get them on some baby brine shrimp. Uh, but yeah, let's feed them a bit right now. Alright, that's enough. I try to feed them at least twice a day. If I can, three times a day. But yeah, look how nice some of them are getting. Incredible. The, re the Sabwa resplendens, also known as the Asian Rummy Nose Rasbora, comes from... Myanmar or Myanmar? Myanmar. I call it Myanmar. But yeah, I love these fish a lot. Look at how good the honey gouramis look. Here's the crypt tank. The crypts have been doing alright. They're slow growers, so it's gonna take some time for them to grow, but I do hope to move these fish over to here. So that is those two tanks. I've gotta put the lid down. Just like that, perfect. And there's this tank right here, the scrapscape tank. Not really sure what I want to do with it. It's not gonna be here for the long term. It's only here temporarily. I still need to find a proper spot for it. But yeah, I've moved it off of that little makeshift stand that was kind of dangerous, but kind of cool. Show you a picture of that right now. So yeah, and now that that is out of the way, I've started painting this section and I'm not so sure what I want to do here, but I'm gonna go slow. I don't want to rush everything. I still need to do the second coating for this section and this section too. So yeah, you can see everything is starting to be dark green. Sun's coming in from here, kind of hard to see. I do want to put curtains up here. I think it'll look cool. Curtains here as well, just so that I can have it dark if I need it to. And if I want light, I can just open it up and Everything will be good. We'll see how that goes, but now back in the studio room. Here's the 60p planted aquarium. I'm really happy with the way this tank is looking. I've got to change up some stuff. There's some Hyger Filipina tafita there that I just temporarily put, and I'm gonna have to move those out. This right here, one of my favorite things about the tank, the Hyger Filipina tafita is growing out of the water. How insane is that? That is so cool. The fish, the ember tetras, cooling so tight with each other. Colors getting brighter. They look amazing. Really happy with this. I still have a bit of trimming to do. The mosses are getting really long. Look at the ones in the back there. Look at how long this is. It's good to keep the moss short and tidy. Like you can see these ones too. These are quite long. The plants in the background, the Vallisneris spiralis, this long one right here has been growing like crazy. You can see the leaves going all the way to the front. It's pretty amazing. And then the other plant is the Myriophyllum guyana. 
the stem plant right there. That has also been growing super well. You can see how tall it's gotten. It's kind of hard to focus on that, but really happy with that. Now it's time to say goodbye to these and it's time to do a little upgrade. So a couple of months ago when I set up my planted aquarium, I mentioned that I wanted to add a little bit more media because the top compartment doesn't have much. The, these two compartments though, uh, they're full of media. So this one and the bottom one is packed with Substrat Pro media. And then the top one, because I had activated carbon, I didn't put that much media. So now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just add a little bit more. So this is like my media box. I've got some extra soil. And so many people got angry at me, upset, because I didn't put any of those black sponges in here. But for plants at aquariums, you really don't need that black sponge because the the plants are gonna do all the work for you. So I don't put those coarse black sponges in my filter, it's all media, but I will just put one um, of this filter wool just on the top surface, on the top level, just to polish the water a little bit. That's that's all, but in reality, you really don't need this, but you can if you want to. Filter is now back in place. Oh, no way. I just realized something. I should have checked this quite a while back, but I didn't. And now there's a slight problem. So here you see this, this lily pipe right here, the intake part. The hose, the tubing is supposed to go over this glass, but in my case, the tubing is too small. That's not, that's not possible. And if I were to get a bigger tubing, it wouldn't fit on my filter. It would be too loose. So that's why, unfortunately, I really wanted to try this, but it's not gonna work for this tank. So that really, really sucks. I'm kind of stuck here, so I'm just gonna go back with the original ones and yeah, I'll just put it back on right now. Take a look at this. So the clear hosing and the normal, the ones that we're currently using, they'll go together just perfectly. All right, hold on. You see, just like that. That's how it's supposed to be, a tight fit, just like that. But unfortunately, it's just not the right size. I've been putting this sponge, this coarse sponge over the intake because the, the intake holes are kind of large and I'm just afraid the ember tetras might get sucked in. Uh, they probably won't, but I'm just doing it just in case. So since this video isn't going as I planned, I'll show you how I clean this tubing. You see how it's all brown right now? It should, I don't know what color this should be. It should be like this color right here, but it's all brown, all that algae. I'll show you how I clean it. So many people just say take the hosing off and put it in a solution of like bleach water or something. But something even better is just grab this tube cleaner. It's like a pipe, a pipe cleaner with this brush. And you just chuck it inside. Push it all the way in, bring it out. Look at all that dirt. So yeah, that's how I do it. Look at it, so much better now. Can you see the difference? Oh yeah, here, you see this, all that brown? Then you see this, perfect. All right, let's get this back on.
So this definitely was not the video I was hoping to make, but at least we did get to see a few updates. I hope you guys enjoyed the rice fish underwater clips. I really enjoyed taking those and I hope to do more of them next time. The tank is looking great. I did a big water change you guys saw in the time lapse as well as I did a bit of a trimming. So the plants are looking fresh. Fish are looking really great. This is just, I'm really happy with this so far. Let's take a look at the Hygrophila pinotophyta again, growing out of the water. Pretty unfortunate that we weren't able to use the glass lily pipes, but maybe we can use that for another tank in the future. But for this one, I'll get my own lily pipes very, very soon. Maybe I can go get them tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you, Gavin, for the lily pipes. Sorry we couldn't use them on this tank today, but I'll find another tank that I can use them on. I'll see you guys next time.